hello guys welcome to the tutorial in this tutorial we have seen that that uh, we discuss about the tmt that means structural subjects okay so tmt is a namely the three movement theorem this movement theorem is uh, in the structural analysis one part one in the civil branch okay so there are certain important points that may be used uh, to determine the uh, or to solve the beams okay actually in a tmt portion claproron's tmt this is a claproron's uh, theorem okay so in this theorem mainly the continuous beam is used okay now for that there are certain beams are given to determine the different 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 technique to solve the beam okay continuous beam so now let's start with the tmt theorem okay tmt theorem exact what exactly the tmt theorem tmt means three movement theorem okay tmt means three movement theorem and expression for the three movement theorem expression expression for tmt the expression for tmt is given by okay ma in bracket l1 upon i1 plus twice of mb in bracket l1 upon i1 plus l2 upon i2 plus mc in bracket l1 upon i1 is equals to minus 6 a1 x1 upon l1 i1 minus 6 a2 x2 l2 upon i2 okay so this is the expression for the tmt theorem okay so this is the expression now what is mm mb mc l1 i1 a1 x1 what is this so here ma ma mb mc these are the moments along the point a b and c respectively okay l1 l2 these are the length between the point ab and bc okay now i1 is a moment of inertia between same ab and bc i1 i2 and x1 is uh, the distance between the initial point to the middle point and a is a area of the both regions remember that in tmt there is a only continuous beam is used okay then it's may be fix or whatever okay so suppose consider there is a beam is fix at this point this point that means it it hinge at this point hinge at this point and here also it hinge okay remember that suppose this is a point this is b point and this is c point if we take the moment at this point it will be zero at this point it will be also zero and at a b certain moment will be get okay because this is a this is one beam and this is another beam by joining the two beam there is a one certain single piece of beam is constructed here so that's why this beam taking a different mo moment within a by a and b a and c okay in dono se different moment is jagah pe rahega so that's why <coughs> now to uh, represent this beam by this expression okay ma okay taking a moment along this point it is a total description of the this expression okay now we are getting uh, for the x for the determination this expression how it is possible how it is apply okay we are taking some beam okay if i take a beam which is hinge at three point and okay i wanted to give a force of 
समथिंग हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन एंड हियर एटी किलो न्यूटन ओके द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इज थ्री मीटर एंड दिस इज फाइव मीटर इट इज फाइव मीटर एंड इट इज टू मीटर ए बी एंड सी ओके एंड दिस इज आय दैट इज मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिय दिस इज टू आय दिस इज टोटल डिस्टन्स इज दिस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओके कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट ओके फर्स्ट स्टेप फॉर द सॉल दी सच अ न्यूमेरिकल और टी एम टी एक्सप्रेशन गो फॉर दैट दैट जस्ट ड्रॉ अ लाइन टेक अच अ डायरेक्शन ओके ड्रॉ द फोर्स डायरेक्शन अलॉन्ग इट ओके वी आर गेट दिस पॉइंट नाउ थ्री मीटर एंड फाइव मीटर हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन सो वी आर जस्ट ड्रॉ सच अ थिंग ओके वाई एम ड्रॉ दिस थिंग बिकॉज दिस थिंग्स वी आर ऑपर्ड ओके ड्यूरिंग द प्रॉब्लम आई विल सजेस्ट टू हाउ कैन ड्रॉ सच अ थिंग्स दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर हाउ वी कैन अप्लाय दिस थिंग्स दिस थेरम सो वी आर गेटिंग दिस बी एम डी दिस दिस इज अ बी एम डी डायग्राम ओके बेंडिंग मुवमेंट डायग्राम ओके नाउ दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट is mainly denoted by another thing which is which can be calculated okay by using such expression now from this from that point to that point it is a x1 and from this point matlab from this point to this point it is x2 this is a1 this is a2 i1 and i i in moment of inertia are also given now remember that for first bracket okay for this bracket ma ma that's mean this point at this point the moment of inertia is always zero okay so l1 and l1 l1 is the total length this is total length l1 okay and i is a one okay so we put the value of i1 is one okay then 2mb just write 2mb because we don't know the value of this then L one put the value of L one. I one put one because here one value. L two put the value. I two put the value of I two is two because here two I two is given. Then M C is also zero. So both the bracket is zero. Put minus six A one. This uh, area of this first triangle X one this term. L one I one. Such a equation is can be put. It. Okay. So now this procedure is can be done by. Okay. so tmt is done by this way that means three moment theorem for that some another techniques are also important to determine the highest value of the triangle bending moment diagram how can you draw bending moment diagram without any height or without any force okay so that's why if consider consider there is a beam okay now this beam is supported from two way two two side and there is a centrally applied load that is w okay it is total length is l and it is l by 2 toward this and this is l by 2 okay now what is a bending moment diagram for this support this big simply supported beam so that draw a line okay now this is simply supported beam at point load acting point load so draw the force and just take a height this way okay now how can i calculate this okay so for calculating the bending moment diagram take w that means the force applied multiply by total length wl and divided by 4 If you multiply W multiply by L, weight multiply by length divided by four, so we are getting the bending moment diagram for such expression. Okay, so next expression is if there is a UDL uniformly distributed load. Okay, if there is a UDL and both the forces simply supported. Okay, and there is a certain W kilonewton per meter is applied, and uh, total is there. 
so how can bmd is calculated simply draw a line we know that any time the B, when when the bmd diagram shows always the curve or bending moment diagram is goes like an parabolic curve okay so it determined by w l square divided by it, it is a basic concepts which are done in the third sem engineering so okay so this is w l square divided divided by it. with the help of this we can calculate the bmd diagram for that okay and another one is that if because the three 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 beams bmd diagram are very important another is that if there is a simply supported beam and a force applied at not a point not at another level okay this is suppose a and this is suppose b so how can it calculate it the diagram is obviously like that okay so it determined by it is l it is w determined by w a b divided by l okay so with the help of such a diagram we can calculate okay now i just remember all three diagrams because three time with the help of this three diagram we are calc we are getting calculating some equations okay so now this is first this is second oh second and it is third okay so now in first first diagram what happen it is point load in second there is a udl and in third there is not a point load okay so this is total length is l w l by 2 l by 2 this is W kilonewton per meter. L. This is A B. Total L W. Okay. So now one, two, and three. How it is calculated? I take a height, proper height. This like that. This like that. And it is. Okay. Now its equation is. W L square by eight. Okay, no, sorry, 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 sorry. W L by four. It is W L square divided by eight, and this is W A B divided by L. Okay, so with the help of these three, we can calculate the equations. Now we proceed further toward a simply. Example of TMT. Okay, <clears throat> now there is a one example. Suppose there is a beam. Okay, this beam. 